Greetings, YouTube. From time to time, I like to bring you in on some of the amazing people that contact me every day. I am so blessed to have so many people who contact me, not just for content, but just to be kind and to be awesome. I, I don't know most of your faces, but that doesn't mean I don't appreciate you reaching out. I do also like how the line app now has this snow falling background, very holiday festive. And so there's a guy by the name of GeneNort88 that posted this to the line app for me this morning, and I've gotten around this afternoon to making this video because I think he's pretty spot on, and Otriox also messaged me personally to back up his theory. So I've got two people who uh, are pretty sure this is going to be where we're headed. It looks like there's going to be three new uh, champions in Marvel Contest of Champions for next month. And so we only know one out of three of the champions, or at least we have a very, very positive uh, idea of who the next champion is going to be. And so he uh, he starts at, Hey, Prof, your comic book nerd resource here. Been collecting comics for almost 50 years, and my money is on this guy as the villain for next month's event. After seeing your video about the accidental preview, and when you scroll down, you see, oh, ho, ho, pretty diabolic. Diabolic, you mean... Diablo, me, you may call me Diablo, my dear. Looks pretty cool. Very much a uh, a green and purple costume combination. As you know from watching my videos, I mostly just followed the X-Men, Spider-Man storylines in the 90s growing up. So I don't know a lot about people like Diablo, and this is why your feedback for me is so important. So thank you again so much, GNort88. He then gives me the Wikipedia page, and he's not done, because this guy, in all of his forms, says he's the greatest alchemist in comics and one of the original Fantastic Four villains, which maybe means we can see a couple of Fantastic Four heroes to start off January. I have a feeling since Kabam has waited this long to introduce the universe that just maybe we could have multiple months of Fantastic Four, especially considering we have a maximum of three heroes introduced every month that are new, and, you know, we have... Four Fantastic Four heroes just by themselves. So this gives Kabam the ability to make like a third or a fourth of the 2019 champion, champion calendar all one universe. And that's really, really cool and really smart for them. It might even save them time. Who knows when they're storyboarding their new champions. The other preview we had from Data Mining was the classic This Man, This Monster comic book story, and that relates to the Puppet Master, another classic Fantastic Four bad guy who's been known to work with Diablo. Just FYI for your videos, my friend. Keep on keeping on. I like that phrase. Lots of us got your back. Well, thank you for having my back, man. Uh, and most importantly, for giving this awesome information, which, like I said, thank you also to Otriox, who messaged me with some images and also backed up the idea, the theory that one out of three of the January champions will be Diablo. I don't know a lot about this guy, but my guess is some of you watching this definitely do. So what are your thoughts on a Diablo-focused uh, champion? Should he be a certain class? Maybe a, a cosmic class? I don't know. Uh, comment below and let me know. Also, if you want to be really a really good student in this case, maybe comment uh, what you think maybe some of his specials should be or some of his abilities. I always love seeing previews and predictions and whether or not they match what Kabam is hardworking to release soon. So, man, you just never know. I got more content to discuss and, and reveal based solely off of an accidental leak from somebody maybe having too many donuts up in Canada on the Kabam control page you know, making something live that should never have gone live for at least a couple of weeks. So there you have it, folks. Thanks so much for watching, and thank you again to Otriox, and especially in this case, GNort88, for sending me this information. It is summoners like you that make me so happy to do what I do every day for this community. Again, thanks for watching, and thank you so much for supporting my Marvel Contest of Champions YouTube channel.